I remember when we were at the party, we were sitting down and this girl just kept grabbing my leg like a weirdo. And no joke, one thing led to another. She ended up looking at me in the middle of the party and said, OMG, Bubba, is it really that big? Wait, what? Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to a super embarrassing and I gotta say crazy story. So today's story all takes place back when I was in high school. This was my grade 11 year. Now in grade 11, I was just a casual dude, not gonna lie. Yeah, I was a major player, but honestly, my grade 11 year was the year where I really like tried to figure out what I really want to do with my future knowing that my grade 12 year was literally coming up I really want to make sure I knew what I was doing but I remember in my grade 11 year one thing that was really popularized was me going to parties I don't know what it was but my whole grade 10 and 11 year going to parties was like a totally normal thing for me to do to the point where I would go basically almost every weekend now I don't know how many of you guys like to go party and comment down below if you guys went to parties back when you're in high school or if you're still in high school right now going to parties but I will say this, I probably have been to more parties than anyone watching this video. But I remember one day after school, I was packing my car, putting my backpack in there, getting ready to go home. And out of nowhere, this girl ends up walking up to me. Now, I did not recognize this girl whatsoever, and I had no idea who she was. But when she walked up to me, she said, hey, like, you're Bubba, right? Yeah, what's up? Oh, well, like, you see that group of girls behind me? Uh, yeah, what about them? Well, they're having a party tonight, and, like, they want to know if you want to go. I don't know why they sent me here, but, like, I don't know, would you go? At this moment, I... I clearly made it obvious that I was checking out the girl that was asking me to go to this party. And I remember I looked at her and said, I mean, if you're going, I'll go to the party. I don't see why not. Wait, really? Yeah, why not? Um, okay. And she ended up walking away as if I just said something really weird. Now at that moment, I thought I had no chance with this girl and I totally just ruined it by saying that. But little do you know, that Riz line usually works more than you think. Because I remember when I finally drove home, I ended up getting text messages on the way of people asking me if I was going to the party. I ended up saying yes to all of them and a lot of girls were asking me to pick them up. But to be honest with you, I always like to show up to parties solo because I don't want girls to think that I was taken when I got to the party. But I remember when I got home, I ended up basically doing my homework as much as I could, and then my mom ended up walking into my room. She walked into my room as I was mid-changing for the party and said to me, Bubba, what are you doing? Oh, hey mom, I'm changing right now. Okay, that's fine, but why are you changing? Where are you going? Oh, I have to go help a friend out with, like, a school project, so I'm going to his place tonight. Oh, okay. Well, be safe, okay? Don't do any funny business. Of course, mom, I, I would never. Thinking back on it now, yeah, I definitely lied to my mom a lot about going to parties and stuff, but to be fair, back then when I was younger, my parents were pretty strict. So there was no possible way they were going to let me go to a party if, you know, my grades weren't as good. And trust me when I say this, my grade 10, 11 year, my grades were not it. Going on with the story, I remember I ended up finally getting ready and I ended up getting dressed for the party. And that's when I got inside my car and started heading over there. And when I finally got there, I remember I saw a lot of people entering the party. It was just a basic house party that a lot of people that my school were going to. And as I got in my car, I ended up walking up to the front door. And as I walked through it, I instantly see the girl that asked me to go to the party originally she walked up to me and said well you're here um and so am i yeah uh is everything cool by the way you acted pretty weird you know when i asked if you were going as well oh no i just never expected a guy to interact with me like that oh okay well i mean never hurts i guess and right about as i was about to raise this girl no joke another girl ends up coming up to me and this is one of my old sneaky links and she says to me oh hey bubba i didn't know you were coming you should have told me oh yeah uh my bad what are you doing did you bring this girl oh no she was here when I got here, but I don't know. I was about to go talk to her for a bit. Oh, okay. Well, have fun with that. And she walks away. I remember the girl that, you know, originally asked me, we're going to call her girl number one because she's like the main reason the story's so weird. She ends up looking at me and says, oh, do you know her? Yeah, I do. Uh, just don't worry about her. I, I don't know why she's being weird because there was no possible way that I was going to say girl number two was already a sneaky link that I had for a while. Anyways, me and girl number one, we end up walking around with each other at the party, hanging out with friends and stuff. And one thing led to another. We ended up actually sitting on a couch together because we were exhausted from talking to people. And that's when this girl ends up sitting right next to me. And she starts talking to me about basically the most weirdest thing because she ends up saying to me, so, uh, I have a question. Would you say you're like experienced? I remember when she said that I looked at her and I was so confused on what she was talking about. And that's when I said to her, uh, what do you mean experienced? Well, like, I don't know. Like a lot of girls were like talking earlier about you over there in the party. And like, I don't know. They said, you know what you were doing. 
experience like when it comes to parties uh i mean yeah i've been to a lot of them i guess no not that silly here follow me and i remember me and her we ended up going to a bedroom that was at the party and funny enough i don't know whose bedroom this was but it for sure wasn't hers nor mine and i remember when we sat down on that bed she ends up putting her hand on my thigh and at that moment i started to get excited and got bricked and uh the next words that came out of this girl's mouth were insane because she looks over at me and says omg bubba you're so big what you're so big like oh my gosh uh are you good is what i told her and at that moment i ended up standing up and i kind of got turned off not gonna lie her saying that gave me the real ick because who just says that randomly so i remember i stood up and i ended up walking out the door and she follows up behind me and says bubba what's wrong w what's going on with you uh nothing it's just what you said it just sounded weird and that's when girl number two ends up coming back up to us after so long of not seeing us and says omg did you experience it wasn't it massive that's when i look at both of them and i'm like what you guys talked about this uh yeah at first i thought you were weird but when she told me that she had experience with you i want to know what she was talking about at that moment i was grossed out okay there's no way i was gonna be passed around by these girls like hell no so i remember i actually ended up going downstairs to the party and i actually ended up leaving and sitting in my car wanting to just go home i don't know what it was usually i wouldn't mind something like this especially today but i guess back then in that moment knowing i was kind of just getting used and this was all premeditated and planned really grossed me out but i remember when i was driving home i ended up getting a message on my phone from one of my friends saying that there's a girl looking for me and i just ignored it went to my bedroom and passed out i passed out and the next morning when i went to school i heard that this girl was looking for me running around but to be honest i just ended up staying away from her until finally she got over me because she got a new boyfriend a week later it's kind of funny how she went from calling me big to then getting a boyfriend the next week i guess high school is really full of just weirdos but if you guys think i'm capping then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys